Right, so yeah, we're here at Near FM for the Fuzzed Up Radio Show. Um, I've got magazines here with me who are about to introduce themselves now. What's that with you? Uh, my name's Tom, I play the bass. I'm Shane, I play guitar. Um, I'm Catherine, I sing and play guitar. And we're actually, we're missing two people. We're missing the drummer and the guitarist nice, last nice, synth nice player. Yeah. Thank you, thank Dan you. And Alex. So there's two, two absentees. Yeah. Yeah. You've only got yeah. 60% of the band. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, thanks for coming in anyway. Um, first of all, I suppose the obvious question, um, how did magazines come about? Um, when we, I think we all love music, so I think it was a desire mm-hmm. that we all had to be in. Yeah, we hate mm-hmm. music, to be in a band anyway. Um, Tom and I knew each other um, through a mutual friend in school, and we had like a day of jamming, which... <laughs> What, what would you call it? It wasn't really a day of jamming. It was, it was more Monopoly. It was more Monopoly. Pizza. We played a little but, uh, Monopoly. Yeah, there were instruments there. Yeah, so. scattered around. And mm-hmm. then you're best friends with the, our drummer, Dan. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we knew kind of Shane through other people as well. Mm-hmm. So it's just kind of one of those things that we all kind of just came together. And just so it's mm-hmm. pretty organic. It's pretty yeah. organic. Yeah. So, right, I have to ask you now, before we go any further on Monopoly, is that a game you play with friends or a game you play with enemies? It depa- you start <laughs> Starts with friends, with friends. And yeah. You yeah. With enemies, yeah. That's the, right? the obvious mm-hmm. answer, isn't it? Um, now, anyway, so magazines. So if an alien was to drop down now onto the earth and he oh, never heard sh- music before, yeah. Yeah. never heard music before, how would you, you know. tell them what the magazine sound like? Jesus. We get, we, we, we get compared to Blondie a lot, which is... I think but he's never heard yeah. music before. He won't know what Blondie yeah, is. Yeah, Blondie is. Well, it's a tough question, question, isn't it? Um, come on, Tom, you're the genius of the band. No, it's all yeah, on you. On, aliens are coming down. Aliens what what, down. what do we do? Aliens, then what happens? An alien comes um, down, what happens? Like, it's a lot of noise, really, I suppose, yeah. to it an is. alien. Yeah. <laughs> to us, it's pretty all Okay, right. I'd, I'd simplify it for you. How, you, you. You think you sound a bit like Blondie, that's what you We get compared to yeah. that a lot. I think it's because mm. there's a female <coughs> singer, maybe. I'm not trying to be funny, but I don't know if we sound very like Blondie. No, I don't think we do, but we get compared it's a kind lot. It's kind of like so. a mashup of maybe funk and rock, maybe. Mm. Yeah. It's kind of pop as well. well. And pop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Poppy, funky rock. Yeah. yeah. Poppy, cool. funky rock. Yeah, poppy, um, funky rock, I think, so the official, the yeah. Of everything. I know, I know, you've played a few gigs now in the underground and um, fibbers and places like yeah. that around Dublin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's the strangest gig you've ever played? The strangest gig? Um, I'd say like our first one, purely because we ended up playing in the Grand Social. So to have your first gig in the Grand Social is like super strange. I think I was expecting mm-hmm. to start off in like absolute dives, like mm-hmm. and be like gigging on street corners. Local guy like, or something. Yeah. Big time, but we got in touch with Garage Land who are like, they put on loads of gigs for people yeah. and stuff and they're great. Mm-hmm. Like you probably, you know them like. Yeah. Where the Garage Land. Yeah, 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 so like they were great and they set it all up for us and stuff. So um, the Grand Social, like it's just strange in the sense, like never thought that would be a first gig scenario, I guess. What about you guys? I uh, yeah no I agree. Yeah, cool. yeah. your teeth on the big. It's a big stage. It's a, it's a beautiful yeah. venue, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, the yeah. sound was. <laughs> yeah, it's brilliant. It was yeah. something else. Yeah. Like. Funny enough, um, we had the sound guy do another video for us with another band, which we're going to be uploading really soon. So I'm very awesome. proud of that. But um, yeah, very very competent Deadly. people in there. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if you could steal the sort of credit for any song that's already written. Mm. What song would you go for? Ooh. Blink 182. Blink 182. We we do that a lot in, yeah. like, in practice. We just kind of mess around with it. Um, no, she's not. not she's not having Blink 182. Not like, I don't know. I was actually thinking about this the other Damn. day. I think um, I really like The Strokes. So I was a big fan of Julian Casablanca's and his new, well, not his newer band, The Voids, and their song Human Sadness. Like a lot of people that I've shown it to, like hate it because you can't really tell what he's saying in it I suppose but like I'm a big lyricist I suppose like I like wrote loads of like poems and stuff before I even played an instrument or whatever so like his just his words in that song Human Sadness are just like so good and also the music video is great as well so I that one probably for me it's blink it's, it's blink it's blink it's blink yeah. 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 okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> agreed okay. um <laughs> So, I, I, I don't know, like how many times does it take you to sort of, how many times do you have to hear a song that you love before you hate it, you know? Oh, Because oh. I'm someone that can listen to songs over and over and over again yeah. and it just doesn't, yeah. it mm-hmm. just... It grain on you. No. I actually don't have any songs I hate properly. But like, there are songs such like, like, Mr. Brightside by The Killers. Like, mm-hmm. I, I, used to, like, I used to love that, I know, I, I can't stand it anymore, because it's just, it's fair. so overplayed. Yeah, it matters if it's being played outside of when you actually want to listen yeah. to it as well. Like if it's on the radio a lot, that's gonna get to you. Yeah, mm-hmm. I have to say now, Mr. Brightside was one that's uh, great on me at a very early stage. <laughs> you know, so, yeah. But um, you know, that's it is what it is. Um, how, how old are you? Um, I'm 21. 21. 21. I'm 20. 
20, so you're the, you're the, the child. Yeah. The baby, yeah. the and the drummer is 20 as well, yeah. and Alex is... Nearly 20. I think he's 19. Is he 19? Yeah, yeah Alex is Alex 19, is the, the guitarist. Yeah. So music was like a Maybe common I'm theme wrong. in the households yeah. and some days were yeah. growing up mm-hmm. in. <laughs> yeah. For me, definitely. Like, my dad plays the guitar and my mom loves to sing and stuff, so they would have showed me a lot of, like, their favourite bands growing up, like, I don't know, like the Cranberries, Oriam... Red Hot Chili Peppers would be mm. my dad's like favorite band, um, and then they were also into like I suppose like synth music like Depeche Mode and all that jazz as well. So like that would have been my kind of foundation of music, I guess. And then as you grow up, I suppose you kind of find your own. Mm. Find well. your way. Yeah. Were they supportive of the whole music thing? Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. My dad was a punk, and my mom liked Westlife, so it was, <laughs> it was very weird. Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. um. <laughs> yeah, my dad uh, played piano a lot. And like he listened to a lot of jazz, so I uh, he got me started on the saxophone before I got into bass and all that. Yeah, cool. Mm. cool. So you're going to play a couple of songs for us here anyway. Yeah, um, yeah. What's mm-hmm. the first one? Uh, we're going to play Blue Maggie first. Mm-hmm. Blue Maggie. Right, I'll leave you to it. Take it away there. Thanks. Thanks. So listen, if you were forced to give up one thing, one of these two things, would it be brushing your hair or brushing your teeth? Oh, brushing your hair. Brushing your hair. Hundred percent. I barely yeah. brush I my hair. I don't brush anyway. my hair, so yeah, no. I know I can't believe that. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> Get a close up of this, Nick. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, your hair is very obedient. It's, it's all about the conditioning. <laughs> all about the conditioning. So you're gonna go with um, brushing your hair as well? Absolutely, yeah. Mm. Yeah. That, yeah. that might change, that might change, we'll see, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, so what was the kind of funniest or stupidest way that you ever injured yourself? Oh gosh. Any embarrassing falls or anything like that? Yeah. Not even embarrassing, like I sprained my, no I sorry, I, I got a hairline fracture in my left ankle, so I got casted up and then I was a bold child, so I got on the trampoline with a cast on and I ended up 
fractured the other one. <laughs> so that was so I had to cut off the first cast and then get a new cast on. So that's just idiotic more than yeah, we have a winner. Funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Done and done, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Now listen, thanks for coming down and um, you know we did a radio show and this was just kind of our follow up to it and just are playing in the underground on the 29th of March 2019. Yeah. Yep. If hopefully this will be out before that and people can see it, it's mm -hmm. going to be a really cool night for um, Bikers Ride Out for Prems yeah. with loads of other bands. Um, loads of really cool bands on that too. Definitely so best of luck with the gig. I'm going to be down there to support us. I'll be the drunk oh, one at the back most likely. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah you know me. I'll follow you in the back. Um, the and you're just going to see us out with another song. Fab. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, this one's called Be There. So be there. Great. Nice one. Thanks again for coming in. Thank you. That's your Great.